very warm welcome from the red carpet in the Red City for the 14th Marrakesh International Film Festival. 87 films from 22 countries spanning the spectrum of human emotion. For those in competition, the themes are truth and the search for meaning, some humorous and heartwarming, others dark and disturbing. Among the 15 films vying for the top accolade is The Blue Elephant by Egyptian director Marwan Hamid. It's the story of Dr. Yahia, a psychotherapist who treats criminals and one day finds that one of his patients is an old college friend. Karim Abdelaziz stars as the psychotherapist and says he's delighted his film is in competition. It's different to all the roles that I have played before the last 17 years. So that's why I do it. And I changed my face, I changed, and I, I lost uh, about 10 kilos of my weight. Marrakesh makes a point of backing auteur and freshman cinema. Eight of the 15 movies in the official selection are first films, including Things People Do that marks the directorial debut of veteran film editor Sar Klein. My home, where are they going to go, right? Why don't you bail me out? I bailed you out. It's about a, a very good man in America, a uh, middle management man who loses his job and uh, starts to fall apart and do things that go against who he believes he is. A life of uh, crime that grows bigger and bigger and it's about dealing with your decisions and trying to protect the family in a world that's very complicated, today's world. It's a tradition of the festival to honor those that have served the film industry with distinction. With over 100 films to his name, Egyptian actor Adel Imam is so honoured. A prolific actor, Adel Imam is not only a household name in his native Egypt, but throughout the Arab-speaking world, mostly for his roles as a comedy actor. A staunch defender of the refugee cause, Imam also tackles socio-political and religious issues in his movies, and was appointed UN Goodwill Ambassador in 2000. As is a distinguished British actor, Jeremy Irons. The Oscar-winning actor received his career tribute from France's Laetitia Casta, who said he followed in the footsteps of British giants like Richard Burton, Anthony Hopkins and Cary Grant, who went on to conquer Hollywood. And if they don't go along, I shoot them, or Mr. Hitch does. That's the law, your law. It's Ian's third time in Marrakesh, and he told Euronews how much he enjoys the city. I love a good bargain hunt. I was down this morning um, uh, selecting carpets for my son uh, and, and enjoying the tea, which I really love, the mint tea, and, and, and haggling with a man who knew his carpets um, even better than I did. You've got a red one now, haven't you? A what? A, a red carpet, yes. Not. We could actually do better. We could have a nice Berber carpet instead of this Wilson or whatever it is, yeah. Join us on Euronews for more from the Marrakesh Film Festival later this week.